Hey guys, welcome back to my top 10 favourite TV show reviews. We're now at my review for my fifth favourite show, and that is Red Dwarf. I love Red Dwarf. This is a show that I only actually checked out at the beginning of the year, and I fell in love with it as soon as I started watching. This is a British comedy sci-fi, and it is about the crew of Red Dwarf, hence the title. Now, Red Dwarf's premise is that there is an accident on board the ship and it wipes out the entire crew and the only surviving member is the lowest ranking member of the ship and who is Dave Lister and um, he survives because he is put into stasis because he refuses to um, give up his pregnant pet cat um, Frankenstein because he's not supposed to have the cat and um, he opts to go into faces as opposed to have to hand him over. So, um, and, um, yeah, because the only other members of the crew who, um, have, like, with Dave is, um, Arnold J. Rimmer, who is a hologram of Dave's, um, roommate. Um, Kat, who is an evolved human from Frankenstein, like from Frankenstein the Cat, and um, they're also joined later on by Crichton, who is a mechanoid um, who they rescue from a planet, and um, he continued to serve his crew even though they were already dead, and they're also joined in the last few couple of seasons by Christine Chankensky. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce her name, but um, she was a navigator officer who um, Dave was in love with and had actually dated back on um, Red Dwarf. Um, there's also the ship computer Holly who has an IQ of 6,000. Um, even so, as Holly puts it, um, it's the same as, as the IQ of 6,000 PE teachers. He's not actually that smart, but um, yeah, it's um, just, it's, because especially the first couple of series where Holly was played by Norman Lovett, um, I just loved it. Um, because Holly is my favourite character, um, as mentioned before, when played by Norman Lovett, who actually returned in the last um, se series as Hol like um, Holly. But yeah, um, some of my favourite moments um, by Holly, and um, yeah, it's I especially. Um, Love um, the whole thing after Dave returns from stasis and he finds that the crew are dead and um, he keeps going through all the um, all these different crew members like oh Rimmer is Rimmer Rimmer dead and Holly has to uh, like say Rimmer's not dead is he and his, Holly's response is everybody's dead Dave they're all dead and it just keeps going for like a few minutes and then finally um, Dave goes wait are you trying to tell me that everybody's dead it's just this great um, yes scene and because the pilot is actually one of my favourite pilots um, yeah it's just um, just loved it because um, series one is actually probably my favourite series of the show. Um, like, I liked all of them, but yeah, um, the first series in particular. Because um, another one of my favourite Holly Coins is when um, I think it's in like the third episode, in the third episode of the show, and he launches an emergency alarm and. 
he keeps going like for a good push it's like emergency emergency there's an emergency going on it's still an emergency this is an emergency announcement <laughs> yeah it just keeps this is it's just um because holly he's such a like um he's dry, really dry and that's what makes him so great um but yeah and also Cat is another one of my favourite characters, um, because, yeah, I'm not too sure what makes me, um, love Cat in that, like, as one of my favourite characters, but it's just something about him, he's just, ah, uh, because, like, he only thinks for himself, like, regardless of, um, the situation, like, it always comes back to him. I think that's why, um, I particularly love, um, his, when they use his alter ego, Dwayne Dibley, who is a complete opposite to Cat, and, yeah, those scenes are so funny in the, because I know it was one in Series 5, and I think there was an episode in Series 7 where he came back, because, um, yeah, it's just, because Cat is awesome, that's basically um, all it comes down to, really. Cat and Holly. Um, but I have to actually agree with the general consensus on that um, the show did start to lose its appeal um, after they added Trey Kensky, um as a series regular. Um, I mean, as I said, I still liked the last couple of series, but. I felt that when they added her character, the dynamic of the show was lost because Rumor, Lister, Crichton and Kat all worked well together, like um, they played off each other really well and there's this, they had this great um, comedic relationship. Um, but when Jerry Kensky um, came in, I felt it didn't have that same connection, like it was not so much lost, but I felt, yeah, I think, um, like, maybe it would have worked better if she was just there for a few episodes as opposed to a series regular. I think, yeah, she didn't really work well as a series regular, but, um, but, yeah, like, I mean, there's still some good moments after, um, that, because, one of them I'm remembering is in series, actually in series eight, I believe. Um, and because Crichton, because like obviously they have to spend two years in the brig. Um, and because Crichton, because he's actually, they think everyone like assumes he's a female because he doesn't actually have any male parts. So he has to room with um, Joe Kinski and um, he's, because um, one of the episodes she actually had a period and um, he was told that it's his, um, that he should celebrate, like, there's something, I can't remember the exact thing, but he ends up putting up a banner that um, says congratulations, and um, he realises after that it was, um, he wasn't supposed to do that, because that whole moment is just, <laughs> it's actually one of my favourite moments in Series 8. Yeah, and the look on Chikinsky's face when she walks in, because she's obviously moody and that, and, yeah, she comes in and sees that congratulations on your period banner, and, yeah, <laughs> it's, um, it's, yeah, there's a few other moments, um, I think, yeah, it's just, it's a few other different moments, but, but, yeah, for me, series one and two, are my favourite, like, because they were the, like, yeah, those first two series in particular were really good, and, um, but on the whole, though, Red Dwarf is an amazing series, and, um, I still highly recommend checking it out, um, it's, even if you don't like sci-fi, you can still appreciate it for the comedy elements, um, it's just, yeah, a show that can be enjoyed as a comedy like, in addition to a sci-fi, because there's not that much emphasis placed on its sci-fi settings. Um, yeah, because it's primarily a comedy, so... But, yeah, um, 
I highly recommend checking out Red Wars. Um, because this actually used to be my second favourite show, but as you will see, uh, the show's knocked it back to fifth place, so, but, um, I still love it. Um, so yeah, that's the review for my fifth favourite show. Um, my next video will either be the review for my fourth favourite show or the next part of my December 2010 update. So until my next video, I will see you guys next time. Bye!